And so, but you see, when it comes to the home front, you see, they are looking for where to absorb their indulgence. Like if the father comes home, maybe he has, maybe in, in, our, in our time now, maybe if he has, if he has a phone to confirm and he later discovers that that's Femi indeed. And he gets home and tells his wife, look, I saw Femi. And the mother says, no, I don't believe you. You can't see Femi. Femi will be in school. And even if she has confirmed that, you know, some parents will tend to defend. There's no agreement. At that level, there's this kind of disagreement. Look, it can't be my son. Maybe you are saying something. But there's this, oh, there's this part also where you put a few companies and say, it could be old. Let's, let's find out. So two of you get to work. So he doesn't have anywhere to, to, to actually, to hide. So children really becomes, they align. Especially teens and young adults, they align easily when they know that they don't have any one of the parents to absorb their indulgence. So, but when they discover that, okay, this father, when you do it, the father will always cover up, or the mother, and it's even worse for parents who try to defend their children, even when they know that these children are wrong. Their parents will do that. You get to your children, you get to your son's school, and they say, this is what he did or that, and say, look, my son cannot do that. And the father comes, look, I know my son. I know what he can do. So, principal, please vlog him. Yes. Mothers, some mothers do this actually. They try to yeah. shield their children most of the time from because they are very sly. That's the truth. You, you, no matter how much you have done, no matter how much work you have done on those children, you still have to just give that that benefit of something could still go wrong. Sometimes it might not be him. Sometimes it could be peer pressure. And those those pressures are such that you cannot really figure out on your own because you've done your job from home. But when he gets there, maybe his friends are jumping and decide to jump with him. Maybe his friends are doing the thing and he sees that, well, nobody is nobody's monitoring and catching. Let me just do this more. Yeah, and it could be that time he wants to do it. That's... Now, one of the reasons why it is very good for parents to adopt that synergy, to work hand in hand, it's better you discuss every issue about your children together, agree together on standards. Don't, if your wife is going too far, tell call her and judge her, madam. <laughs> this thing is going too far. And let's take it a bit quiet. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's the man, say, yeah, yes, I know we have to discipline these children. But don't let it be obvious to your children that both of you are not on the same page when it comes to. The moment it's obvious to them that both of you are not on the same page, it becomes a big issue. Because they will manipulate the two of you. And if care is not taken, they will take advantage of that. So it's always good, discuss it, go into your quiet rooms, go into your privacy, discuss some of these standards, discuss when to, when to take it a bit, a little bit, I mean, slow, discuss on how to take it, you know, far, you know, let there be an agreement on those, those standards and it's going to help. You.